I'm very grateful to have the opportunity to say something to this extremely important gathering. The Foreign Office has committed itself, and the British government generally has committed itself, to combating sexual violence across the world. And that is a project of such value and significance that it is hard to describe. A few weeks back, I was with my wife in the Eastern DRC, and seeing what, funded by the British government, churches and NGOs are doing to combat sexual violence. It's an area I've been to over the years and know reasonably well. And when you see what happens to people, it is breathtakingly terrible. And when you see what targeted, careful work does, it is extraordinary in what can be achieved. Let me give you an example. On both visits over the last few years, I've gone to see churches working with women who had been raped. The society of the Eastern DRC is being progressively more and more brutalised by war, by rampaging militias, by extractive industries misbehaving, and that brutalisation is slipping into the general population. The churches are the main bulwark against this brutalisation. They love the women who come to them for help. They show them love and human dignity. That is extraordinary in itself. Through wonderful organisations like Heal Africa, they treat their physical injuries. And then individual clergy, trained and equipped with their wives, begin to deal with the issues of de-skilling, and so they teach them a craft. They enable them to re-enter society. They counsel them. They show them that they are of unique importance as people, not merely the objects of other people's lust, rage, and disempowerment. Historically, as we are seeing in wars also in the South Sudan, where I've been recently as well, there has been a culture of impunity. Faith leaders are challenging that culture fiercely and saying that rape and sexual violence in war is absolutely unacceptable and will result in consequences. It's hugely important. Secondly, the churches are deeply involved in the restoration of relationships, particularly the re relationships, the proper relationships between men and women, in which there is equal valuing. In other words, with the right collaboration on the ground, this is an issue where we can, in this world, make a significant difference. I want to end by again commending the British government for a costly and deliberate policy of attacking this terrible crime and to commend this conference for giving the time to seek to make a difference that is achievable if we work together. Thank you.